Today we're going to talk about time signatures, do a quick review of how to read a time signature and what it means. So I wrote on the board here, it says time signatures. Well, what a time signature is, is the fraction uh, that appears before the beginning of a piece of music where it's on staff line. So if you have a staff line, which of course has um, uh, five lines and four spaces, so something like this. Five, yeah, five lines, one, two, three, four, five, and four spaces, one, two, three, four. What a time signature is, is it appears typically after the clef. Let's just say that we're in treble clef, just like that. The time signature appears after the treble clef. In typical uh, time signature in band music, not always, but a pretty common one, is four, four. It's four over four, it looks like a fraction. Um, so, not to be confused with a thing called the key signature, which would imply sharps or flats in this area right here. Say if we have one sharp, it might be right up there, and etc. So, the, we have clef, key signature, but we're going to talk about the time signature briefly here. So, when we have a time signature, like I mentioned before, it looks like a fraction. So we have 4 over 4. If we have a fraction of 4 over 4, that would equal 1, right? Excellent. But in music, it's going to mean something a little bit different. What I want us to think about is the top number means how many and the bottom is of what. How many and of what. So if I were to fill this in here, top line, how many, bottom of what. So, how this works is that the bottom denominator here tells us what type of note value we are um, focusing on for each measure, what note gets, gets the beat within each measure. So what we can do is kind of take out that top, top number here. We're just going to make that a 1 instead of a 4. So we'll say 1 over 4. In mathematical terms, that might be referred to as one quarter. So if you have a dollar, one fourth of a dollar is a quarter. So there's one fourth right there. So essentially, this would equal a quarter note, which looks like this. Black note head, stem, bow. So what I want us to do is to break down the fractions of our note division. So if we have, say, uh, we, we can say one over one, um, one over two. 1 over, we don't have 3, so we'll say 4. And what do each of those uh, fractions equal to? Well, 1 over 1, we can say a whole note. It looks like that. 1 over 2 equals a half note. And like we just uh, went over, 1 over 4 equals a quarter note. Yay. And then if you want to get a little bit more intensive with this, 1 over 8, and 1 over 16. You will notice that the divisions double each time. 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 8, 8 to 16. And what these equal are 1 eighth would be considered an eighth note. That is a black note with a flag on it. And then a 16th note, black note with a double flag. Mm, exciting. So, the bottom division of a time signature is what... Um, of what note gets the B for each measure. So, top one says how many. So, if we have four, four, according to this little quick chart that I just made, we have four of these guys right here, which equals four quarter notes per measure of music. And then that repeats, right? So that's why we go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If I were to make this a two four like this. Guess how many quarter notes are in each measure? Two. Excellent. Looking like that for each measure. That's that's the that's the uh, rhythmic value that gets the pulse or the beat. Two. We sometimes see music in three four, which means we get three quarter notes per measure. Three of the quarter note value per measure. Excellent. Sometimes, well, sometimes, sometimes we'll see 5-4, sometimes we'll see 6-4. Five quarter notes per measure, 
six quarter notes per measure. Right? Let's try something a little bit different now. We don't really typically see one over one. This does make a lot of sense because we would subdivide it into four four still. Um, but um, what we might see is say a, um, some some division of the half note. So sometimes there might be a, um, a time signature of um, six two, which would equal what? Exactly six half notes per measure. What if we were to write this as um, if it was all in quarter notes? What would this time signature look like if it was all quarter notes? Six over two. Well, what we can sort of do here is, excuse me, we can kind of look over this and see that um, we have two quarter notes right there, two right there, two right there. So how many quarter notes is that? One, two, three, four, five, six quarter notes. So then that would it, um, ultimately be, oh, Thank you for catching my mistake. There we go. We might more, more commonly see something like 3 2. It gives us a different sort of time feel. So that's why we have three half notes there. So thank you for catching that mistake. I hope that you were all paying attention. Um, so then eventually um, we broke that down into six quarter notes. So this would also equal to 6 4, which, which actually happens um, from time to time. So it kind of helps to. Um, to offset a regularly um, feeling pulse or form of music, so it's not as predictable. Exciting. So we did 4-4, four, four, we did some 2-4, how about some, um, um, or not, well, yeah, so we, we did different divisions of uh, half notes, chord notes, we don't really see whole notes too often. Um, eighth notes, a common eighth note time signature would be 6-8. So what does that mean? That means how many and of what? Six eighth notes, six eighth notes per measure. And these are typically grouped in threes. It might be more of like a triplet. So if it's we're conducting in two, it might be like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, triplet, triplet. So six eight means we have six eighth notes per measure. And then it repeats over again, over and over, until it changes. Sometimes, a lot of sometimes, we see um, three over eight. My might be sort of like a waltz. And sometimes this is conducting in one, so it's just like one, 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 two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So the eighth note gets a subdivision, but then, then also, uh, then like the six, eight, um, the, the eighth note got sub subdivision, but then the pulse was actually, was I was conducting two, so that means that the dotted chord note kind of gets the, the overall pulse, and then this is the sub subdivision there. But ultimately, three eighth notes per measure. So conducted in one, 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 triple it, triple it, one, two, three, one, two, three. Lastly, on the three eighth side of things, um, would be 12 eight. This is if, um, a lot of times if you're, if you're doing. Um, uh, blues, jazz, shuffle, or maybe Afro-Cuban music, um, which kind of gives you um, a four, it, it kind of gives you um, uh, two different pulses at the same time, or, or, or uh, two different grooves at the same time. So you might get um, uh, ultimately conducted in four. I'll just show you that first. Just like the last ones. The big, the big pulse is in dotted quarter notes, just like that. It's a little bit confusing, but there it is. Um, and then how many and of what? 12 eighth notes. And then we would just ultimately subdivide these in threes. I won't do all of it, but I'll do half of it. Just like that. You know, I'll just do all of it just because it's so much fun. Music is about fun. So, and ultimately, it's um, kind of a triplet. So it's conducted in four, usually. So it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or if we're thinking in 12 8, we can think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Or we can think about it in triplets to kind of internalize the feel more. So it'll be like uh, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So 12 bit's pretty exciting. Um, helps with, um, like I said too, with like jazz feel shuffle because what you would ultimately have is a triplet underlying pulse minus the middle note there. But 
That's for another video later in life. We also might see seven eighths, which is pretty exciting, which means you will have seven eighth notes per measure. And these can be grouped in different ways, but it helps to provide a different pulse and a different group that's less predictable than four four. So say, for example, if I were to group seven eighth notes like this, you've got two, two, and three. So this would be um, uh, count and felt one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. So it gives it a different feel and um, kind of a little, a little bit more excitement and less predictability. So unless you use that the whole time, then it's very predictable. So lastly here is the 16th notes on the bottom. We don't see this too often, but I have seen some kind of crazy music that might have like 12 over 16 or some other weird subdivision of that. So you can just imagine 12 16th notes. Um, you know, it's, it's a thing that's there. This would also equal to, um, say, if we're divided by four, as we all know, three over four. So, you know, it's kind of just a different feel. I think it really just depends on um, what's happening in the music and what kind of rhythms and, um, uh, yeah, just, just ultimately what kind of feel is going on with the general overall shape of, of the music and the composition. So um, some composers like to use some of this sort of division if there's um, certain things happening in different sections, which makes more sense. So that's there. So hopefully this all makes sense. So just to kind of review here, time signature, four over four. So it's how many and of what? Everybody say that. Excellent. So how many and of what? So we have four quarter note values, right? Right there. So um, hopefully this is helpful, helpful review of uh, time signatures. And um, you know, if you have any other questions, feel free to contact me or um, you can Google some stuff if, if you need to. I'm sure there's a, a hundred thousand videos on time signatures online. So this is just my quick uh, take and review of it just to kind of flood the stream of, of everything. So um, time, time signatures, hope it makes sense, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye.